So have you ever wondered if the FOMO you had about a year ago would pay off for the comic books that you bought? This is the video series where I take a look back at my top five not to buy comic books, which I take from like the Key Collector Trending 20, CBSI Hot 10, and Cover Price Top 10. And I do a price look back one year later to check how those prices look through Cover Price, Go Collect, Overstreet Access, ComicBooksPriceGuide.com, and eBay sold listings so we can see how those comics are performing one year later. Hi, I'm Christopher, AKA the Bronze Age Nerd. And like I said, in this video, we are doing that price look back from one year ago. This one covers comic books actually from about 13 months ago. This is from January 21st, 2022. And I think we're gonna see what a different universe the world was a year ago. Let's check it out and get started on the first book, which is World War Hulk number five. All right, so we start out our journey over on cover price, World War Hulk number five, first appearance of Scar. Although like a lot of first appearances, it's debatable on what the actual key is, but this is the one that a lot of people were latching onto a year ago. Now, funny enough, we actually know, thanks to She-Hulk, that well, Scar is in the MCU, so it's just a question of time on this book. Let's see if that's helped things out a little bit. Uh, worth noting that Scar basically had like a real world cameo appearance in She-Hulk in the, the end credits, and we haven't seen Scar come in any other Marvel property since then. So there's a chance that people are still hunting this book. All right, cover price has this at a current trend of up 2.82%. Let's look at uh, raw values on this really quick. And a book like this, we're gonna definitely be looking at near mint. Well, around the time I made the video, it was selling for about 25 to 60, 30, 30, 60, 20, 32. So kind of in that, that ballpark uh, leading into 2022. Now the most recent sales, uh, $45, 22, 29, 29. So a small, a small trend down or, or maybe even kind of flat if you want to be optimistic about it. Let's look at slabs. I'm definitely only going to be looking at nine eighths for this. So all the slab data comes from literally right around the time that that's, that spec happened. Uh, 306, basically a few days before I dropped my video. 375, we see some lower sales all the way down to 150. And these are all nine eighths. 270, 315. Uh, most recent sales back in January, we had a $210 sale, which is definitely down from where it was before uh, the list came out. Uh, 200, 150, 180. So actually that, that $210 sale is actually up from the last few sales before that. How about Go Collect? All right, Go Collect for this listing. Let's see, over the past year, we've had 43 confirmed sales of a 9.8, and I am just looking at yeah, CGC Universal 9.8s. Highest was 399.95, lowest was 91 and the average is 201.83. And just kind of looking at the, the last couple sales, 162, 133, 172, uh, definitely kind of seeing it in that 150 to $200 price mark, easily worth less, to be honest. Comics Price Guide, what do they have? So when it comes to raw, I try to look at around a 9.4, around a 9.4, and this one would be about $40. And then they have a graded 9.8 at about 2.30. So, so they're looking a little higher than the last uh, couple of guides on both of me, which kind of tracks with what I'm seeing with Comics Price Guide. Okay, Overstreet Access only is going to have raw pricing for this one, and they call it a $10 book in a 9.4 higher. I'm guessing they just take a range from 9.2 to 10, and they say that's the the full value of the book. So they're saying 10 bucks. All right, one of the best uh, one of the best equalizers here is looking at actual eBay sold listings. This is a fairly wide net we cast. I feel like most recent raw sale was $20. Here we have a, you know a 9.8 selling for 133.06. That was on 22 bids, and that was this month. Before that, a 9.4 sold for 120, which is interesting. Uh, that's a Canadian sale, but it was 172. So you kind of seeing where it's at now. Uh, $15 for a VF copy from my comic shop. Here we go. Here's another 9.8 sale. That's 142, and that was in late January. So I definitely got tracks with what we were seeing from the other sites. So when it comes to this book, I'm going to go ahead and say that it might be a little flat, honestly, all things considered, and that makes a lot of sense. Like I was saying in the beginning, Scar showed up in She-Hulk, but that was just a very brief appearance. We haven't seen Scar do anything. We have to assume he's coming back. It definitely looks like there's gonna be like a World War Hulk style movie or show or something. So definitely looks like we're gonna get more of that character. So people are probably still keeping this one in mind. Although Scar's appearance literally probably turns some people off that his haircut and stuff was a meme for a while. Even I made a meme about it. So I don't know. We'll see if this one causes any, any motion in the ocean, so to speak. But there you have World War Hulk number five. All right, next up on the list is Batgirl 35. And this was the book that uh, kind of popped off because the Batgirl movie was coming and we all know what happened to that. So I have a feeling this is going to be definitely down. This was the, the costume that was supposedly we were going to get in the new movie. Uh, you can see the current trend is slightly down. Briefly, we'll look at Roz. So 10 to 
twenty dollars to fifteen to twenty six to thirty one, and then most recently we're at like twenty ten sixteen six fifty. I think considering that before it was about a four dollar book, I, I'd say that that looks like it came down, but it didn't come down all the way. Slabbed. I only have one nine eight sale. That's interesting to me. Only one nine eight sale, and that was uh before the video even came out. So we have to look at different price guides. Let's see what GoCollect captured for this one. Um. They capture a lot more sales data, which is interesting. So we have a best offer accepted at 175. That's the only thing we can really look at. And uh, it's a best offer accepted. I'd have to dive into that one. Comics Price Guide has this as a $20 raw 9.4 and a $68 9.8 slabbed. Overstreet Access currently lists this one as a $3 uh, near mint range book. Okay, that real world eBay sales data. Uh, that was a trade paperback. If you saw that one up there, 10 9.90 for for one last month. Uh, the second printing, which I like better, has more color on the cover, that was $7. Uh, $10, $14 for that second printing. Um, this is the NYCC variant sketch cover for 20 bucks back in December. I mean, I wasn't really looking at the variant covers, but that's interesting. Another, so $10 kind of looks like this, we're about where this one is at, so $10. Looks like it's a cover that's stuck in people's minds. It's a new costume, first appearance anyway. So I guess that's cool. Um, I think it's definitely down from the, the hype that it, the first couple weeks of this book came out. We were seeing those $30 sales, stuff like that. We're not seeing that anymore. So definitely didn't pay off. It's not like you're making money on this. And of course the movie got canceled. So of course that's the case. All right, so this one should be interesting. At the number three pick, this is actually Superman 18. This is the first appearance of Doomsday. I mean, first appearance of Doomsday is gonna be a key no matter how you slice it. So let's take a look at the pricing over on cover price. This one is in a slight upward trend. A lot of sales volume here. Um, 10, 20, 15, 12, 10, 20, 10, 18, 18. And then we get to the current pricing. Those were all the pricings from a year ago. Let's see, 15, 550, 15, 35, 16, 35, 50. Hmm, <laughs> let's look at slabs, because that looks pretty flat. All right, right before my video came out, let's see, 135, 155, 170, 155, 200, 145, 140, 230, 180, 175. So we started to see that bump. Well, 128, 164. Now remember, this was all because of uh, Superman and Lois too. That was the reason this was popping. Now let's look at like December, the first sales in December, 71, 76, 79, 145, 100, 114. So definitely looking like we've come down to earth a little bit on that one. Let's see if GoCollect matches that. Easy thing to do here is just to look at the extended stats. Past one year, $288.88 was the high. The low was $40.25. The average is $124. So definitely, definitely coming down. It looks like when we look at the recent sales, I mean, yeah, $97, $125, $138, uh, $150, $110, $114. So healthy book. You know, again, it's established key, but not necessarily what we were seeing before. Uh, comicspriceguide.com has it as a 9.4 of $20 raw and a 9.8 of 148, that's pretty in line. Overstreet Access has this one as a $45 raw book. Overstreet Access coming in a little high for the first time. And then let's check out eBay sold listings. Um, currently it looks like uh, five bucks, got an 8.5 for 30, 8.5, that's interesting. 8.5 for 30, $10 for raw, best offer, best offer, best offer under $10. 9.6 for 60, $50 for a 9.4, $65 for a 9.4. Uh, 9.8 for $97. I kind of wanted to go back to the last night. So on February 9th, a 9.8 for $97. And that was an actual auction too. So, you know, it's kind of hard to call this one a bust. I think, you know, it was pretty clear on my logic here is that this is not, it's not the time to buy it because of the show. Wait to, to buy it. And now you can probably find a good deal on this one. I mean, you know, there's a lot of sales going on for this book. There were a lot of copies printed of this book. So this is probably a pretty easy one to find a sale on. Good luck on there if you're looking for this one. I think it's pretty safe to say this was a bust, but it's not like you lost a ton of money on it. But think about it. It's the same logic. Like if you went back and bought this book a year ago, did you make money sitting on it and then trying to flip it? Very few people made money on this book at that time. So I think the logic still holds. Okay, so let's look at our next book, which is Suicide Squad number four. This is the first appearance of William Hell. 
who becomes the White Dragon. This was big because of Peacemaker. We had Robert Pratt, Robert Patrick playing that role in that show. Uh, this one has a current trend of up a hundredth of a percent. Raw sales data for a near mint tells us that this book didn't ever really pop. Uh, well, okay, maybe it did a little bit. I had to go to when the list actually came out, right? So five dollars, fifteen fifty, eight dollars, five dollars, eight dollars, ten bucks, twenty bucks, twenty two. Okay, so it, it popped a little bit, and then twenty two fifty, and then like eighteen fifty, and now in twenty twenty three. Uh, one sale for three dollars and sixteen cents. How about slabs? A uh, one nine six sale for fifty bucks in January of twenty twenty two, around the time that list came out. All right, let's look at Go Collect. There, there's actually no sales data, so that matches no sales data uh, for the relevant time frame. <clears throat> so let's look at ComicsPriceGuide.com, and they say a nine four is three dollars raw, a nine eight ten bucks. Interesting. And then Albert Street Price Guide has this as a six dollar book in near mint quality of course we'll go to ebay sold listings here's that 318 that's from canada too by the way three bucks yeah no one cares about william hell i that's i think i was very safe on that pick um two dollars no one no one cares <laughs> got dots in here no one cares okay so that's going to take us to our last book by far the most gorgeous cover, and I could be wrong on this one. We'll see. I haven't looked at any of the sales data yet, but I have a feeling this book has held some value just because it is a gorgeous cover. And that book is Daredevil, Woman Without Fear. Number one, it's the one in 50. All right, so let's take a look at cover price. This is the Jen Bartel one in 50. Uh, slight trend up on this one, 0.17%. Let's see here. Raw in that near mint category. Let's see. This was selling for $152 raw. So right before I made the video, $175, $152. And then, man, $170. So keep that in mind. That is that is where we were at when I made the video. One sale of $100, $165, $165, $122, $122, $72, $83, $83, $84, $84, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $85, $
All right, so that was my look back at my top five not to buy from a little more than a year ago. There's about 13 months to give us some some great sales data to look at. Pretty interesting lineup. I think I was pretty right on all those books. You you definitely didn't want to invest a lot of money in them. You know, I have yet to see the book here that was going for a hundred dollars and is now 500 bucks or even 300 bucks. That just doesn't happen. So just kind of reminders to be careful when you're when you're getting that FOMO out there, really kind of consider it, especially when it comes to some of these books that have a big buy-in that are moderns. An established key is usually a little bit different, right? Like that Superman Man of Steel. It hasn't lost a ton of value because people still like Doomsday. Hey, real fast, I want to thank all my supporters. There's a list on the screen right now of all my channel members. Thanks a lot for all your support and everything you guys do. I really do appreciate that. If you want to get your name up on the screen here, go ahead and consider joining by hitting the join button down below. If you do want to follow along for when I make these videos every week, I make a top five not to buy. I'm trying to get those out on Fridays now, which is the day after the key collector trending 20 drops. And I highlight the five books that I think are the worst investments for that week. And I give you my reasons why. So if you're interested in checking that out, keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Thanks again for watching. And I want to remind you until next time. Hey, 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 hey. Read comics every day.